I don't even have words for this new shell. I don't know what compelled me to make this monstrosity, but this is Sarah Ken shell 13. It is three floors. There are multiple diagonals, a weird little courtyard, some curved walls, some other curved walls. And if it is one thing, it is a nightmare, but it's a nightmare that I'm overjoyed to share with you all. So let's take a look at what I did with it. So the reason I made this shell challenge now is because I didn't realize that it has been more than six months since I've done a shell challenge. Our last shell was uploaded like January 15th and tours were like the beginning of February. Some Somehow, some way, it's now August. And so many people ask me all the time, when's the next shell challenge? When are you doing another shell? Or is there a new shell yet? And it feels like I don't do that many recently because we kind of flip between a shell challenge and a house hunters challenge and a shell challenge and a house hunters challenge. And I think I was like, you all want a shell? I'm gonna give you a shell. So that is how we kind of ended up with this. It is, like I said, it's three floors. Now, however, this one, because I didn't want to be too mean, the third floor is in fact optional. You can just remove it if you don't want to do it. Originally, when I built this, I was thinking maybe I would do a jungle adventure vibe with it, mainly because of how I had to do the roofing. We had all these little weird pockets. There's like something in my teeth and I can feel it every time I talk. BRB while I floss. Okay, I'm back. What was I talking about? Oh, I was saying something about the roofing. Um, best of luck with the roofing. I truly encourage you to just draw a half wall or do a platform roofing all the way around because this is horrific in the roofing department. I normally, sometimes when I build my shells, I'm kind of thinking in the back of my head, like how I'll roof it. But this this one, I was thinking, how chaotic can I make this? Kind of. Um, because this is also Sarah Ken Shell 13, the 13th installment of the Sarah Ken Shell Cinematic Universe, the SKSCU, if you will. However, it is not my 13th shell challenge. It is my 14th. That's actually not even true. It's my 15th. But either way, lucky 13, I gave you a chaotic shell. Why not? I did cut out a bit of the roofing because it was me just kind of fiddling with stuff until I figured something kind of worked. And yeah, so we have these like weird like diagonal pieces that I didn't really want to put a roof piece on. So I put like the jungle adventure plant there because I love that jungle adventure plant. And so I was like, okay, like maybe we go more of a jungle adventure vibe with the whole build. And spoiler alert, we don't do that. I like couldn't commit and couldn't like make it look the way that I wanted it to look. So you guessed it, we ended up doing a contemporary family home. I mean, not really family home, but it's like it, there's two bedrooms. It's not even that big of a shell, I don't think. Like tile wise, it's really not that many. It just feels big because it's three floors and all of that. Speaking of a word that rhymes with floors, tours. Tours for this shell are going to be on September 2nd and 3rd on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Sarah Kendall. You know where to find me. I am so excited to see what everybody does. And famously, if we do need another day of tours, if we need another weekend of tours, I'm happy to do that because I want to see every single build that has been done with this shell. Like every single one that I possibly can see, I want to see it. Because if you even attempted this shell, I, I believe that is worthy of recognition. So I definitely utilize the kind of like balcony moment here. So the main rules are like, you can't turn existing walls into fences, but you can add fences and half walls and like spandrels and stuff. You just can't turn what already exists into those. So I kind of did two balconies out there in the front. I feel like I want to try this again, but use the other side of the shell as the front of the house because I don't know, this one kind of made sense to me at first when I was doing that little like front porch area, but I feel like it just is always going to look so weird with that very, very strange third floor. Not to mention the third floor, like the circular third floor messes up the inside of the second floor. When you're trying to place items, I cut a ton of cluttering out of the first bedroom that I did because it was literally just me fiddling with things, trying to move things so precisely because for some reason the curved wall was really messing it up. But you get the gist of it. I also built a little bit of this on TikTok live as well, but I didn't screen record that. So like, as you can see with the kitchen, I like did it super quickly and like didn't have a lot of like decision making going on during that. And that's because I did like 30 minutes of it on TikTok live and then I knew the layout that I wanted. So I just went back and redid it really quickly for the speed build. I did that with the bedroom as well too. I've been trying to like balance my TikTok live vibes recently. Like I've been really enjoying the building and like a lot of people have been asking me to do more building, but obviously we've been doing a hundred baby challenge, which life update, it's now 1000 baby challenge. It is now 1000 baby challenge for the TikTok challenge because we got past 100 and I said that wasn't difficult enough. Our matriarch herself has only had 85 and I would really love to get to 100 with just one matriarch. So we need to get to at least 122. And then I was thinking, I don't know if any anyone's done the 1000 baby challenge. I don't know if anybody has ever attempted that or has ever been willing to suffer enough to attempt that. And I think I am. So we've been doing that a lot on TikTok live. We do it on Twitch live sometimes too. And it actually is on my list either August or September to get you a 100 baby challenge video for the YouTube challenge. The thing about the 100 baby challenge videos, and I'm sure I've said this in the past, they take twice as long to film and edit and they get about half the views. So I was kind of thinking people didn't want them because my building videos seem to be what a lot of you all 
enjoy. But also I'm like, I would love to have multiple hundred baby challenges going on at the same time because I love that challenge. If you didn't know, it's literally the first thing I did when I got The Sims 4 was play the hundred baby challenge. So it does hold a special place in my heart. I think also what's been preventing me from doing it on YouTube as well recently is because infants are so hard. Like I know infants are so hard because I've been doing them in the TikTok hundred baby challenge. And I remember I did my last episode of the YouTube hundred baby challenge right before infants came out because I was like, we need to savor this time. Now infants are here and they cry and they have blowouts and they got to do their tummy time and everything. Oh no, I think I cut it out. I really wanted to show you all what I did. I think the reason I ended up cutting it out was because I play tested it and I must have accidentally cut out the part where I actually did it. What I did with the pantry door, I didn't want it to be just like a glass door where you can see everything going into the pantry. Like I wanted a little bit of privacy because it's like, what if the pantry is messy, you know? So I took the glass door and if you didn't know that you can do this with windows, you just place windows one on top of the other, like in the exact same position and it creates kind of like a frosted glass look. It doesn't actually clip that badly at all. And so that's what I ended up doing with the door to the pantry. I wish we just had some more like frosted glass options in the game, but for now that's our little workaround and it is functional. That is why I went to play test it. And I think I forgot to record the like choosing of the swatches for the dining table and everything, but I love those chairs. I think they're so much fun from the little campers kit. And then we pop in to this bathroom and we do, I think we go with like blue vibes, which I thought was really cute. I love this half bath. Something about like making a really cute half bath is so satisfying to me. I literally don't know why, but like I love those tiles from high school years on the floor and then the wall paint. I think it's perfect. And another interesting thing about this house, I don't really want to spoil it. I'm basically just talking about the desks and that like neither of the bedrooms are really conducive to a desk. So we have a laptop on that island counter, that island counter nook in the kitchen, which I thought was kind of weird at first. I didn't know what to do with it. Like people were saying do a book nook, do a little like love seat or something. And I decided to do the counters instead. And then we did the book nook by the dining area and that turned out super cute. I think I'm gonna cut this part out, but I, there was a part when I was doing this build where I went through like every curtain in the game and I was like, this one is good. This one is bad. I hate this one. This one is ugly. I don't like it because you know me, I don't like most of the curtains in the game. They don't look good. They look the opposite of good, which is bad. They just don't fit the windows the way that I want. Some of them are just very specific circumstances that I don't think many of us build with those circumstances in mind most of the time. I just think that we could do a little bit better. I want a curtain kit. Sims team, if you're watching this, I want a curtain kit. I will shout it to the rooftops how much I love a curtain kit. Anyway, coming over to the more formal living area, this was really stressing me out, like doing the layout with like the sectional and then also having the fireplace, but the fireplace was like behind the weird like diagonal. So if you're looking at it. Every seating option in the living area has like a nice view of the TV. There's not a blocked view at all. But I was like, what if it did have a blocked view? And then it was making me really uncomfortable. And then I was like, no, because it's fine. It is literally the sim. That's what I have to remind myself of a lot uh, when I'm building is that like something may not be so perfect or so realistic. And then I just have to be like, nope, it's fine. It's the sims. We will survive. We will live our life. And I did some layered rugs. I actually really love the layered rugs in the living area. I feel like I never layer rugs and I need to do it more because there's so many fun swatches, especially like from different packs. There's different swatches and shapes that go together really nicely. It just is never something that comes to mind. And that's another thing about curtains is that you can like layer curtains and kind of make cool looking things. It just doesn't come to mind to do. Speaking of things that didn't come to mind to do, did I paint the ceilings in this house? I know I did on the lower level. I can't remember if I did on the second level and the upper level. Don't get me started about the upper level. Like you can't paint the ceiling in a room with curtains curved walls or at least that room with curved walls. I could not paint the ceilings. It was not good. Spoiler alert, I make it a planetarium and it looks really cool. So please stay to watch that. I'm like actually really proud of it. I think I'm more proud of that room specifically than I am this entire build. Most builds I've done this year, honestly. Anyway, I wanted to add the sky ceiling. I think that came with the new pack. It was not gonna work. It was just not looking good. I hope I left part of it in the speed build. If not, I'll show you what I mean when we go in for the final tour. But with our weird bump out in court, Yard. What I decided to do was a little greenhouse. So you can see that I put the eco lifestyle planters, the regular planters, and then in there we did a water feature. Like, literally, why not a water feature? I am a Pisces, so it is what I love. And just a cute little place to sit with some more plants. Like, I was very happy with that. And then I took like the weird wood slats from Eco and I just kind of like made them in their own design. And string lights, like, you know, I love string lights. That's another thing. A string lights kit. Could you do a string lights kit, Sims team, maybe? Uh, just give us all options, many, many 
many options. I would love that. Combine it with a base game update where we can change the light colors in build mode. We actually might be able to do that. I have no idea. I have Twisted Mexi's Better Build by uh, mod, which lets you do that. So it's been a while since um I had to do that in live mode. That's just like City Skylines. Like in City Skylines, there's no control Z. There's no undo, but there's a mod that lets you undo things. It's called undo it. And I've used that for so long. Like I was like, what is there to improve on in City Skylines too? And then someone was like, there's literally not an undo button. And I was like, oh yeah, I know you're right. You're right. Not to derail us from the Sims, but I am so excited for City Skylines too. Like it is looking so chef's kiss, so beautiful to me. I really love like maps and transportation and things like that. So like City Skylines is so up my alley. Like I have had numerous times where I've been like, oh my God, I need to go back to school and do city planning. Like I love it so much. But for now, I'm just a simmer and a streamer and a YouTuber and a TikToker. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok. I feel like to be so straight up, I think I've, I've, I'm falling off on TikTok lately, which is fine because I do, I always say I do it for the arts, not for the charts, but I, I'm actually like inspired and I'm like excited. Not, I'm not so much excited that like my content isn't doing well and people seem to not like my content as much anymore, but like I'm excited because that means I have to go be more creative. I have to find something new that uh, excites me and excites the audience. Like I'm excited about this new opportunity for creativity. Like I might try some new formats. I'm, I don't know, like be on the lookout basically is what I'll say. I have been uploading more YouTube shorts recently as well. I've been trying to keep up with Instagram reels. For some reason, it's so hard for me to keep up with Instagram reels. I just like forget to post. Like I'll post the same video on like TikTok and YouTube shorts, but I'll, I won't post it on Instagram reels. I'll just like forget or like not want to do it, which is really interesting because Instagram reels, I think has my favorite like in-app video editor editing tools of all of the short form content, the TikTok, YouTube shorts, and and Instagram. While I don't like Meta and, and Mark Zuckerberg and anything like that, I really do like the tools. But as you can see here, at least what I'm seeing is that we're doing the second bedroom. Um, It was pretty quick because that was part that I did on TikTok Live and then I cut out a lot of the cluttering because of the weird thing going on with the third floor curved walls. I did grab some gallery paintings. I believe these ones are from MNEWI1103, a favorite of mine. And I never use that wallpaper. I think we, we maybe have moved on from it, but like this yellow wallpaper with like the cute little like floral motif. Now the one thing that does really bug me about this main bedroom, you will see eventually, I had to push the headboard into the wall and I felt like that that changed the vibe of the room just so drastically. I was like, no, I don't want it to take it away. I don't want a bed if I have to push the headboard into the wall. But my sim literally refused to walk around, which doesn't even make sense because normally they just need half a tile and the sim had half a tile to get to the other side. But for some reason it wasn't gonna do it. I actually love the color scheme we ended up going with. I feel like it's a lot more fun than I normally do in like main bedrooms in these like suburban contempo homes. I think I'd try and stick to like neutrals or just like a blue or like a muted green, but I made it a little more fun and I think I would really love it as my own room. The curved wall in this room does prove to be a bit problematic, especially in the curtains category. It was not good for us because I really like the eco lifestyle curtains on the flat window, but then you get to the curved window and we were all just like, what do we do now? Like, duh. then I was like, what do we put in here next to the door? And you'll see that like this room definitely looks less cluttered, but I kind of like it that way. It looks just a bit more tidy. You know, we have the dresser there that like maybe they shove everything into we have bookshelves. Like maybe they can hide some clutter in there and they're just plant lovers. I gave us some more plants. I tried to do a TV on the wall, but no, 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 no. Those gallery paintings that I added in here. Oh my gosh. They were like the perfect color scheme. I didn't even plan for that. I wonder wonder if gallery painting creators ever go in and like use swatches from the Sims items as like reference for what to do for their gallery paintings because these ones were literally so perfect. So thank you again to MNEWI1103. Uh, I did the little plant corner. I love a plant corner. Famously one of my big desires for the Sims 5 that I don't think they would do because I don't know of any game that has the mechanics to do this. But I love the big plants in the game and what I need is for the frog of the palm or whatever like this is the wall and these are like the leaves instead of like clipping through the wall I want something to have it so that the leaves lean up against the wall as it would look in real life because I hate having to put the pot of the plant like so far out into the room just so that the leaves don't clip it really bugs me for some reason but anyway into the main bathroom that's attached to this bedroom uh, I feel like this is another one that I forgot to screen record at the start because I'm like where is the layout for this where did where do you see me doing the layout you just see me fiddling with the shower there, which it, it ended up how it ended up. I actually don't 
hate it, to be quite honest. I don't even think it's that weird of a layout. I love putting a bathtub under a window like that. Like, it's so perfect to me. And the only thing about this bathroom that I, I would maybe say like, oh, well, that's unfortunate is just like the white tiles. Like, I am so married to the white tiles in the bathroom. I don't know what it is. I just think it has like a very clean and fresh look. Like, if you watched my Every Room is Two Different Decades, a lot of things in the 1940s, bathrooms and kitchens, were white because it looked sterile. It looked clean and not germy and carrying of disease. The other bathroom, which I actually don't know why I did the bathrooms like this. I think I forgot that this bathroom is attached to the other bedroom, but we went with a like green on the walls, I think, to kind of bring in some of that green vibes from the bedroom. Oh, and also we put, instead of a door into the one balcony, we put a one of the high school years windows that your sim can like sneak out of. And that's how they get to the balcony, I think on the left side when you're looking at the front of the house. Because I was like, I'm not doing two doors. Two doors looks weird from the outside. Like, I don't know, but we had this really cute balcony um, on the other side and I know it's like the smaller bedroom or the you know the not main bedroom getting two balconies what the heck the other one gets zero it's just how this worked out and you can obviously like rearrange the house if you want you can literally do whatever you want this with this shell that's another one of the rules of a shell challenge you can do whatever you want with it you can make it into a house you can make it into a community lot you can do literally whatever just don't change the walls you can change the wall height that's fine you can use all packs but this one is no CC please don't use any CC in this we've had some issues in the past where just like people weren't using CC from my list or they thought it was on my list but it actually wasn't and so their items were all like removed from the build and it just wasn't great so I feel like it's better for everyone if we just keep it to the no CC rules at least for now and it can be on any lot you can rotate the shell on any lot you can rotate the shell as a whole don't like rotate individual floors but here I am in the planetarium so you see we have this super cute like curved sectional TikTok helped me a lot with this that's why you can see I kind of did like a little stop motion kind of style where I deleted everything and then just like hit undo a bunch of times so you could see it all come together but then this is where we were finishing it up on Twitch and I realized we had those perfect perfect pillows from the little campers kit with the rocket ships on them. We actually have a lot of space themed rocket ship themed stuff in the game more than I realized. Like we have the alien stuff. We have that space rug. We have some weird like rocket parts. And I did finally fit a desk up here. The desk from werewolves I felt was kind of like fun, like whimsy with the planetarium energy. I think what did I put? I put like an alive space slug or whatever that's called. But I did use the tool mod to move the pillows so that they look like they're like sitting up as couch cushions. And I really, I just thought that that was everything to me. And then the star lights on the hanging on the window and the deeper hanging lights hanging on the window, the mirror from werewolves, the solar system poster that I didn't really know existed. But I am now a very big fan. And then I think what I did, yeah, I just moved the painting. I was gonna keep it behind the couch and then I think chat and I were both just like, no, that's a little, that just looks a little awkward. So but that's our planetarium. I really love it. I, I really love it. I think it's so cute. And it also has its own little balcony. So I did not one, but two telescopes because you need to be able to see in all directions. And then, oh my gosh, my brain was like so fried with the shell by the time we got to the backyard. I was like, I don't really know what to do. I think we'll do a pool. I was asking chat. I was like, how do we want to do this? Cause we could do the like higher up on like a platform kind of pool. And I was like, there's really no need for that. So I think I lowered it back down and I did the landscaping. I cut out some of the landscaping because what I did with a lot of it was I used the same plants that I use here. So I use like a pink, yellow, pink, yellow, I think. And that's what I did around a lot of the house. Oh, and by the way, I feel like people will ask, this is in Tartosa, uh, the world that came with my wedding stories. I need to play in this world more because this is such a gorgeous world. Like the color of the sand, the color of the water. It's so beautiful, gorgeous to me. Like I love, love, love it. And then I was like, but if I put the pool right up to the landscaping, how are the Sims getting to the landscaping? If they need to like trim up the landscaping, you know, there's so many questions, but I did our classic pool sitting area, everything. If you have any ideas of like what is fun to do in a backyard, please let me know. I feel like I do the same thing a lot of the time and I would love to spice it up. Maybe I need to pop on Pinterest or something, but if you did make it this far in the video, go ahead and comment pink and yellow because I love the colors pink and yellow that I used for the landscaping. And I think I just finished up the, the backyard with like some lounge chairs and maybe I put a floaty in the pool. I don't even remember, but I'm really proud of myself for seeing this shell to the end because I was going to give up so, so many times. So let's jump in for the final tour. So this is it. Does it look good? No. It does not. I just think the third floor is so weird. This is our front porch. Come on in here to the entryway. I actually think it's very adorable, very cute. And this is our little sitting nook, reading nook, whatever you want to call it, and our dining area. No, I keep meaning to lower that down, but I think it keeps raising itself back up, the chocolate fountain. And then here is the half bath over here coming on into the kitchen. We have that little area. And then I actually really love the layout of this. Like looking at that, I'm like, yes. And then here's our frosted glass door. 
color into our pantry that I did spend a lot of time cluttering. And then you come on over here to the living area. I don't know what I did on the wall there. It was just for funsies. And our TV into our greenhouse area. I added some decor from the greenhouse haven kit. We have all of that. And then we have our little courtyard in here. Very, very fun. You come on up to the second floor and go in on the left here to this room. Again, I love the yellow and the green. It just looks so bright and fun. And then here is this bathroom over here and out into this balcony. I did end up keeping that plant. I felt like that that was really fun. And then on this side, this balcony is literally not anything special. We just have a chair. Going back over here to the main bedroom, I guess you would call this the other bedroom. There's the lack of headboard. And then it just ignore whatever's going on here. And then we go into this bathroom here. And then we have a ladder here up into the planetarium, which I think is just gorgeous. But you can see here what goes on when you try to paint the ceilings. It's just, it's not good. It's not great. And then this is the balcony out here. And then down here is the backyard area. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll go ahead and link another video on the screen for you to watch right now. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a lovely tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!